All right, we're back with PC freshman from Lansing, Michigan, LaDante Hanton. LaDante, how does it feel? Non-conference games are one thing, but to be officially battling on a night-in, night-out basis in the Big East. I mean, it's great. Every night, it's a, it's a fight. We, we in a dog fight every night. I mean, coaches and uh, the players told me it was going to be a dog fight, but you don't know until you're out there, so it's, it's a lot. Coach, this young man's a fan favorite. I'm assuming he's a coaching staff favorite as well. He's been bringing so much to the box scores each game. Dante is a jack of all trades player. You know, uh, we put him in a lot of different situations to try to move him around, to uh, create mismatches, uh, to put him in areas where his strength is. Uh, I like his tenacity. Uh, I think he's in incredible shape, probably the best shape you've been in in your life, correct? Yeah. Uh, you know, and we, I can't tell you how much I love him. Uh, I'm, I'm loving everything about him, and he's going to be a friar for a long time, and uh, hopefully. Uh, we can get him to help us win a national championship. What did you think after the first team meeting when you met Coach for the first time and you were processing everything in your head? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I knew he was going to be on us tough. I mean, we just got to go out there and play for him, play hard, and play with his, his mindset of us playing real hard every, every game. How would you describe one of his practices? Uh, gruel, grueling. It's, it's hard. It's hard to get through it, but it's not that hard, is it? He could have said a lot worse than grueling. Yeah, that's, that's not that bad. <laughs> you know, we bring out cupcakes and, uh, you know, we bring a couple of pillows for some of our guys, you know, soft ones, you know. You know, one thing that has been said about and observed about LaDante's game is that he reminds people of those six foot six, multi dimensional, can play multiple positions on the floor players that you used to recruit for Al Skinner at Boston College. Right. Does he remind you of one of those? A lot, a lot. A little bit more versatile, though, because of his ability to uh, always be around the ball. When you look at LaDante and his rebounding uh, and his ability to make, I call him an emergency rebounder. Every time it seems like we need a big rebound or a big play this year up to this point, he's been around it. So his urgency as far as time and score, uh, you know, when you look at the stats, is, is really resounding. And uh, I'm really, really proud of him at an early age to have that natural instinct. You've gone against some big time competition. You're, you're on the perimeter a lot. You're also on the baseline a lot, playing inside out. Syracuse is bigger than some NBA teams. Herb Pope's one of the top posts in the country. You've gone against big time perimeter guys. What is it like going against these guys? Now? And is it what you expected? It's a little bit more than what I expected. I mean, guys go at, go at your neck every night. Uh, and I just try to play my hardest on, on both ends of the floor and not try to see it as the players, as top players, just try to see it as there's just another player on the court. Where do you eventually see this young man developing into? Uh, to be one of our captains uh, in the very near future. Uh, someone who is going to demand the ball in certain times of the game, uh, which uh, we're going to try to develop into. Uh, hopefully be a thousand rebound guy, be one of the few Division One players to actually grab a thousand rebounds. That uh, should be a goal of his at the rate he's at. Uh, to be over a 14, 1500 point scorer, uh, 300 assists. What's your career high two assists in the game so far? So we're going <laughs> to get that one up. Do you need a pen and paper for this? This is a lot of goals. <laughs> but goals that can be attained. And That's if, right. And if I didn't believe in him to that, to that level, uh, I wouldn't put those goals out there for him. But he's well on his way, and I can't tell you how proud I am of his early development. Well, you're from Michigan. What's something that Providence, Rhode Island Friar fans might not know about you? Maybe even Coach doesn't know about you. You know, that just from, uh, from the days growing up. I've, I've been through a lot uh, back in my history. I mean, growing up with nothing, and now I'm here playing college basketball. It's a dream come true. It's a guy, I'm sure it's a dream come true for your family and, yeah. and, and the people that are special to you back in Michigan as well. Yeah. All right, well, I tell you, Friar fans, you are going to be hearing a lot of the name LaDante Henton in the future. Now, when we get back, we're going to be talking about a big-time documentary, Cox Sports, Behind the scenes with Ed Cooley and the Providence Friars, you're not going to want to miss it.